I lived on a farm ranch with my grandparents. My parents kicked me out and I couldn't afford to rent an apartment, so they let me stay with them for a fraction of the cost. I slept in a bedroom on the first floor. The smell of old people was much more pungent in this room. It was littered with my grandma's religious relics. I had to deal with a giant painting of Jesus staring at me while I slept. Weird things didn't start actually happening until my second week of living there. I got home from my job working at a small corner store in town, and by then it was dark out. While unlocking the front door, I could hear footsteps out in the crops. I had to assume there was somebody trying to steal my grandpa's produce. I tiptoed closer to get a better look, making sure to stay away from any fallen leaves or anything that could make some noise. There was indeed somebody in the crops, but they were crawling on all fours, as if sneaking around. I could have confronted them, but that might have ended in trouble, so I went back inside to wake my grandpa. He went outside screaming like a madman with his rifle in hand. It was something along the lines of, if I ever catch you here on my farm, I won't hesitate to blow your brains out. That seemed like more than enough to scare anyone off the property, but the next night, while asleep, things got stranger. I woke up and heard laughing outside my window. <laughs> there was somebody standing there looking into the bedroom. He seemed to notice me as I sat up and he walked away. I told my grandpa again. This time he was really pissed. He stomped to his closet, pulled out his rifle, and stomped over to the front door with me right behind him. This time when he opened the door, something immediately grabbed a hold of his leg, causing him to trip. I jumped onto the hostile, taking him down easily as he was already in a crouched position. My grandpa managed to get up, grabbing his gun and pointing it at the guy. I called the sheriff while grandpa had the guy at gunpoint. I suddenly heard a scream while on the phone. It was my grandpa. I dropped the phone almost with tears in my eyes, fearing the worst had happened. I got to the stoop and grandpa was on the ground with his hand on his nose. He was bleeding. Someone else had come along, shoved him to the ground, and punched him in the nose before taking off. I wish I'd gone after those sickos with a gun. Who punches an elderly man in the face? In the end, the sheriff arrived for nothing, and my grandpa installed the camera system aimed towards the crops 